See this long ass fucking post? Did I make fun of this last? It's the 13th of April. No, there's no way I could have. Um, so Ralph was apparently contacted by like a competitor to Medium. Wait, no, there's no way I talked about this. Let me check the let me check the calendar. The 13th. Yeah, there's no way. Um. So, oh God, do I? I don't know if I want to read this. Exilio by the Ralph Amell, a fictional story. This is by like ThinkSpot or something. It's supposed to, it's trying to compete with medium.com. And so they hire the greatest of minds, Ethan Ralph, to write a story. And I'll try to read a little bit of it just to give you a feel of the literary prowess that Ethan Ralph, as a accomplished journo, uh, has acquired over the 40 years spent on Earth. Exilio by the Ralph Amell. A fictional story. I was approached by someone close to ThinkSpot and asked to come right here a little bit. I had already considered opening a sub stack and I thought I might just do that in conjunction with this, but I like this guy and I said yes. Why not then? I'm in Argentina, which is a real country, host of the Death Watch, my daily live stream on the lowercase i internet. It used to air at night, but I started carrying this site called Nosy during the day, and their main man aired in my old slot, so I just changed the time from afternoon till 10 p.m. Fuck the other correct acronym. It's always Eastern Standard Time to me. So during Eastern Daylight Time, you're supposed to denote that it's Eastern Daylight Time and is a different UTC minus code by saying Eastern Daylight Time, EDT. Saying Eastern Daylight Time is apparently so much of an inconvenience to Ralph that in a fictional, fictionalized autobiography that he is writing as his breakout piece to this new publication that he's trying to impress, he takes a moment to break not only character but the fourth wall and start complaining about the existence of Eastern Daylight Time and the acronym EDT for no apparent fucking reason except for the holes in his brain echoing random wind noises through his ears as he writes. I've been stuck there ever since. In a way, it's hell, but I used to have an ensemble of co-hosts from the nighttime run of the show, but they're all scumbags now. In this sick trade, you have to be ready for a turn at any point in time. Private messages leaked. Fake private messages leaked. Various other incendiary imagery. Sneak attacks from supposed friends. The theft of your child via the courts. It's a nasty business. The pussy has been pretty good, though. Believe it or not, the pussy was fire in pretty much every case. I only ever truly loved two of the women I ended up betting throughout this fucking insane bullshit. I'll leave that up for debate. Not because those bitches give a single fuck, but because it's funnier that way. Uh, Nora and his mom are my official guesses. Knowing what I know about Virginians and knowing what I know about Ralph... Co um, Nora, the one that got away, and Mama Ralph are the two, the two women, the only two women he's ever loved. Uh, I moved down here to the lovely city of Buenos Aires with family in tow. You know, I'm not perfect, but taking someone's child, leaving while they're out of town and cutting off any access, knowledge, or photographic evidence that of, sub of that child somewhat unsavory many people might even call it sadistic if you hate me online you would say it's justice or you might not even know about that salient fact until you read this story it's all about the mob and the accepted lore at the time um this is gross i don't know if i want to read this uh so this is saying that May is a slut. She's a slut. The problem was she was crazy, and obviously I must be a crazy motherfucker to even dedicate to this to print. She was slutty, yes, but I often wondered just how much of her mind I fucked up. Sam used to tell me that it turned her on to know I fucked other women, so I fucked other women. It seemed like a great setup at the time. <laughs> Looking back on it now, I see her as her self-harming to let me do those things because she didn't think she was worth a shit. Subsequently, she revealed some alleged molestation from a family member when she was younger, a cousin. She also separately, when she was, she was also, she was also separately, 
awesome article, bro. This is like the the the, the pin where you like expose her as being like molested just for just because. Can't even write it. Looking back now, I see it so clearly. Sam just wanted to be hurt again and again because she thought she wasn't good enough. Um, unless it just fucking goes on. Is this all a rant about May? We were going to have a son, and she decided to get all serious about all this health bullshit. I wanted to. Before and after she left me here in solitary exile. I had long stretches of sobriety. The one before we finally broke it off was the hardest. All I wanted was to hear back anything from her. I could see her checking her messages. Just send me a picture of our child, I thought. Tell me anything. One word from her could have stopped me from not caring again. When I don't care, I'm somewhat of a reckless and dangerous person. All I wanted was one word. I was sober and ready for resolution, good or bad. However, it was refused. So... If he's so sad, like, in solitary exile, like, bro, you're the one that chose to move to the middle of fucking nowhere where you don't know anyone. Why would you do that? Like, every place that I've been, I knew somebody there. <laughs> I never moved out to the middle of nowhere. Like, I don't know anyone here. I'm just going to sit in my fucking room all day. It's kind of kind of a retarded move. I uh, took a bunch of pills, did some acid... Paid for women. Uh, I'm a retard. I hate May. Women seem inherently more evil than men. It's hard for me to 100% hate a former domestic partner. It seems a lot easier for them. The female mind seems to take particular joy in having trying to humble their ex. If their ex refuses to be humbled, it only motivates them more. Plus, unless you lock these bitches out of everything, and you should, they use every single piece of vulnerable information that you've ever given them, along with some fake shit on top, to ruin your life. Dude, like the, the clip where you threatened to murder her? I'm not going to hurt you, <laughs> he says as he throws shit around like a baby. I'm not going to read all of this shit. Oh, he spells Argentina right in this paragraph. He did some LSD. The answer is trust no bitch. I'm now sober in one of the biggest party capitals in the world. The fucking Zionists are trying to throw us into another war on behalf of their Jewish interests. The U.S. election doesn't even matter. I've got about four civil cases in the U.S. courts over silly shit. Kids stolen from me with no access or updates. Who even gives a shit anymore? Let's just go out fighting. Are you fighting? Does it feel like Ralph is fighting? It doesn't feel like it. It feels like he's alone writing up di diary entries on bullshit websites nobody's ever heard of. You know what I do have, though? The shitty fucking lowercase i internet. I have 2024, which promises to be one of the most consequential years of my lifetime. That's not a bullshit line this time. It really will be. I've got Death Watch back up off the deathbed, and it's rolling along nicely. I said to someone the other day who was simping over some bitch who used to suck my dick, women are like Toyotas. They come out with a new model every year. Um... I've always wondered, because there, there was a guy who left a comment on my last video, because I made a remark about the Ed Pisker stuff and how um, being a 40-year-old man chasing after 17-year-old girls is a really fucking pathetic and lonely thing to do. And he left a comment being bitch like, I don't give a fuck if you think I'm creepy. I'm going to fuck all the 18-year-old pussy I want. You can't stop me. You can call me creepy all you want. I'm going to fuck that 18-year-old pussy. Like, you're going to, like, pay for sex... Um, and you're going to pay more every year because you're like 40 and you're going to start going bald and you're going to start looking real fucking gross. And I'm going to charge you extra to put up with you. And eventually you're going to be like 50 years old and you're not going to have enough money in your pension to pay for 18 year olds anymore. And you're not going to have a wife and you're not going to have kids and you're going to feel really, really unsatisfied with your with your choices in life. Um and you'll still be creepy. <laughs> Just like Ralph. Uh, they're hard, not hard to find. They almost always aren't special, but they think they are. Some, I assume, are good people, which is a Trump group. Wow, he's so edgy. He quotes Trump. Wow. 
But stressing over some slut is the dumbest thing you can do in life, which is why I don't do it much. You smash that pussy, nut it all inside of it. Their biggest prize they gave to you over and over again with great enthusiasm. This is gag inducing. That's really pathetic. <laughs> what, a, what a sad old man. <sighs> Ralph had two wives and two children. What do you think is going to happen to those kids? I, I have a feeling they'll be digging trenches. We got to have we got to have people to dig the trenches, chat. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.